Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna be talking about flexible filament, TPU, uh, the type of filament that we actually use in our quadcopters or in our hobby or even in our RC airplane. Now I've gone through many different types of flexible filaments and I've never been able to find the one that I really like. And the, the one that's basically like this one. These are the type of things you can get online from Banggood and stuff. And I was never really able to find this type of filament or print something of this nature until recently, which is a couple days ago. So I received this filament that I wanted to try. I was going to order three of them, but I was like, nope, first I want to test it. And this was printed here. And this is the perfect structure for such a thing. Now, this is for the Firefly micro camera. However, I have the two and it, this one just doesn't fit because this is the one and this is the two and I didn't know that, but that's fine. Uh, it's a really good representation here. So as you can tell here, it has the perfect structural properties we need for our quadcopters to reduce jelloing, to protect our gear, which is the most important thing. This thing, I've never broken a GoPro since I've been using one of these TPU mounts. And this is a huge thing to have on your quadcopters because it even protects your top plates. I haven't broken a top plate with one of those either or since I've started using those. So they're, they're, they just have a lot of really great benefits here. Now let's come back to the filament. Now I've tried many different types of filament. This stuff is rated at 95A. This is the type of ratings they have. And I've purchased many rated at 95A. So for example, this is the most expensive 95A I got. It was the closest, but it still wasn't really usable. And it just gave me a lot of problems. And it was very difficult to print with. And I had to print at a very low speed because of the filament compressing. And when the filament compresses inside, basically it can cause a jam. And it, it's just a nightmare to print because you could just cannot leave it and you have to babysit the whole print. These types of prints are sometimes around six hour prints. So yeah. That's not something I want to do, especially lowering speed and babysitting this stuff. However, this is the new stuff. It's from Sane Smart, and um, it's TPU, 95A also, as you can tell right here. Very strong material, and the only difference that you will be able to notice immediately is that this is see-through, and that was not. However, another thing is when you touch it, this feels plasticky, while the other one feels like silicone. But now, this is where it gets interesting. They're both rated at the same hardness rating but they're just it's completely different like there's a night and day difference one this material is so forgiving to print with what do i mean by that it doesn't really compress you can't really compress this stuff like that one and that enabled me to not have a single jam which is really nice on a tivo tarantula which is one of the cheapest 3d printers as well as the creality which is a huge you know benefit here not only that it's cheaper. They ship to both Europe and US through their Amazon warehouses, and they also have Amazon stores. So that right there also is a huge plus because two days and you get your filament when you run out. And it has all of the perfect characteristics we look for in a 3D filament. Uh, because I've been looking high and low until I finally found it. And it took forever, actually. I've been looking for about a year now, I think. And this is the one, and I've used quite a lot of money. So this is the one that I am sticking to from now on and I'm not replacing. Now printing what I did was I just used the basic formula for any flexible filament. Uh, turn off retraction and just increase your extrusion multiplier. And that's it. That's all I did. That, that's all I did. That is the most basic thing to know about printing flexible filament. I didn't have to play and tweak with anything else. That's all I did and obviously put the correct temperatures that they stated. And print, I actually printed faster than the speed they recommended. I think 30 millimeters a second or something. But I printed around uh, 45 and um, so nice. I mean, I, I have nothing to complain about. Uh, this is the exact thing, you know, price is good, shipping is fast. And it has a perfect uh, structural properties that we look for, especially in our hobby here. And they can be used for quite a lot of things, for our action cameras to reduce jelloing, for our little micro cameras or FPV cameras. If they don't fit in a specific frame, you could print one of these out. And these are really cool. I, probably most of you have seen them. Maybe some of you haven't seen them. These would go on the standoffs and they would hold your micro camera like this. The screw would go in here and the send off would be going through here. So for example, hopefully I have a frame here. So here's a frame next to me. What you would do is you would install this like this and then just push it down and you can even uh, adjust the size. First, you'd want to screw in your camera though before you do this part. And this stuff is really strong. You're not going to be ripping it anytime soon. So the camera screw would be popping up from here and the camera would be held right here. So for example, if you had a really big frame and you didn't want to put an HS 1177 type camera, you could just print one of these out. And these right here, I didn't print these out. These came with this frame, but they're really, they're too flexible, as you can tell right here. I don't like uh, how much give that is. That can be 
that can reduce or sorry increase our chances of getting jello in our fpv feed which is something we don't want um so overall this material is really great i'd highly recommend if you're looking for a material don't buy many just buy one try it out and i'm guarantee you're gonna love it because i've never used a material this forgiving and just has all the perfect properties that I've been looking for. I'm very satisfied, very happy with it, and this is my main uh, material for quadcopters. Especially if you're a newbie, this is going to be really great for you uh, when you're when you're printing because it's so forgiving, like insanely forgiving. And um, I'll have a link to everything down below if you want to go ahead and check those out. Um, some of the best material I probably used, and um, I'll keep you guys updated on the status. I'm going to be picking up more colors, and we're just going to see how well they perform. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.